corner, representing Spain. Please welcome El Demonio Abraham Rukini! The devil enters Madrid! The devil enters Madrid with one thing on his mind, a victory over the K1 superstar, Andy Sauer. And let me tell you, Andy Sauer has revenge etched all over his face. He really wants this. I have never seen him so serious. Kieran, the devil versus the power. This is going to be another absolute classic. You know, Andy Sauer's a two-time K1 Max champion, 155 fights, 29 years of age, an absolute legend. But this man here has defeated him. Earlier this year, he defeated him, and Andy Sauer wants revenge. Ernesto, revenge. Sometimes uh, it's, 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 it's a great motivator, revenge, exactly. isn't it, Nesto? Exactly. And uh, I think Abraham is, uh, of course, he, is, he has a future, uh, especially here in Spain. Of course, he's everybody behind him. And that will, that will, will uh, make him strong, make him good. Of course, he will need it against a guy like Andy. So experienced. Well, you just won, you just joined us here on K1 Rising. Anybody Shawman and with me is Kieran and Kettle and, and the legend Sopo, that is Ernesto Hoos. And we have corner, had, honest to God, the most Canada. incredible show. Please Kieran, it's been awesome, hasn't it? Making his way to the ring Andy right now. Sauer. One of the world's greatest, the legend, one of the sublime skills, the speed, the dexterity, Andy Sauer. Yeah, I mean, absolutely, he has done it. He's won it twice, he's still hungry, he wants it again. He's Known throughout the world for his style, his attacking style. 155 fights on this, though. It's incredible, isn't it? 155 fights. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I have had uh, 120 in my whole career. I, I, it took me 23 years, and those guys, they're making so many fights now. It's incredible. The unblemished face of the legend that is Andy Sauer as he makes his way to the ring. As I said earlier, revenge etched. <laughs> on his soul, he really thought he was robbed against Roquini. I haven't seen a fight, I'm not going to judge that, but i tell you something, Roquini, very, very dangerous, great boxer, good speed, moves around a lot with the left high kick, that's not how Yes, he's dangerous, Roquini, very dangerous with his legs, again, he moves extremely well, Sauer, of course, in and out of boxing combination, lovely combination, beautiful style, and that's why he's so famous. I, don't I see him as a smart fighter. He knows what to do on what moment. Of course, that's what I like. I mean, I think I was a little bit smart too when I, in my fights. And, uh, and I like to see a fighter who knows what to do in the fight at the right moment. He knows, he knows how to score, doesn't he? Exactly. Dances his way to the ring is the legend Andy Sauer. Revenge has a set on his mind. Led by Andre Manar from a Giro Gym. Andre Manar been around a million years, and that's only longer than yourself. Well, we done a, we done a few times. We done a few fights in our uh, in our past. Uh, we fought this other 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 twice in '84 and then '88. And uh, I mean, but as a as a as a coach, for ex is he's, he's like one of the best. There you go, then one of the best. Telling us who's one of the best coaches in the world. This is a very exciting fight indeed. The demon enters the ring. Will he cause hell for Andy Sauer in that ring at the minute? Because Andy Sauer, honestly, Kieran, yesterday when we saw him at the weigh-in, how motivated was he? Yeah, I mean, he really, really wants revenge. There's no doubt about it. He disputed decision and he said he wants, wants to fight him again. He's got his opportunity on the, on the world's greatest stage. The shouts of the Spanish crowd, obviously on the side of the... Abraham Roquini. The choir unassuming. Andy Sauer looks like he's never took a punch in his life. And when he puts combinations together, sublime, isn't he? He's extremely quick. He can throw seven, eight, nine punch combinations in the blink of an eye and just be out of your way. Oh, Andy's also one of those fighters who always have to make weight and come from, from 80 kilos and going back to 70. And he still managed to do that and, uh, on his age, yeah. In the black shorts, Andy Sauer and Round Abraham one. Roquini in the red and gold. Round one. Yeah, you know, they both know each other. I don't think it's going to be much of a feeling out process. I'm sure Sauer will want this more than ever. Sauer will have to put pressure on Roquini. What I like.
like about Sauer that he always takes his time and he knows when to move, when to make the right move. Yeah, he's got exceptional speed on a, on a counter. Like we said earlier, he's in and out of the combination, light on his toes, beautiful style. Both very cagey, but respecting each other's skills, as these two have met before. Queenie blasts out the blocks there with the combination, just misses, a nice kick from Sauer. And the atmosphere is incredible here for this fight, isn't it? It's electric. Sauer needs to close him down, throw his combinations of shots and good shots in boxing to the body. He's very, very dangerous with that left high kick, Roquini. And he also likes to stand southpaw to switch yeah. the stance. And, yeah, you know, it, it already shows a fighter must be smart to be able to do that. These are the smartest, aren't they? Because on the biggest stage in the world, K1 Max in Madrid. I mean, a, a two-time K1 Max champion, right in front of our eyes here. It's, you know, it's incredible. He really wants it here. He's really cutting off. He's looking for his opportunity. He's countering well. The Queenie there, lovely combination. He needs to get things off quicker, Sauer, doesn't he? he needs to get closer. The Queenie moving, scoring, nice kicking back from both boxes. Stop! That was a nice left hook from Andy. Fight! Hitting. He does, yeah. He prefers to count and try and throw the heavier shots for the Sauer first combinations. Sauer playing really clever, intelligent pressure. Just misses with the right hand as Laquini moves his head. He just knows when to do what. And uh, he doesn't want to spend too much energy with his moves. That, that's what you can see. Not too sure what went on there. It's a little bit of a... Low blow, maybe. Couldn't see what happened. No, that that was not a low blow no, at all. No, it wasn't a low blow no. at all. Wow. It was after the clinch. He was just hurt. No. Again. Sauer comes hey. in with shots, but a good knee again from Laquini. Yeah, Laquini just working counters. And He's got to watch out, though. Stop. Andy backing out in a straight and line. Right. That was yeah. a short round as well. 14 minutes short. 14 minutes, that's a long now. 14 <laughs> seconds short. But you know, Andy's got to watch backing out in a straight line because if that left head kick comes up from Laquini, it's very, very dangerous. Yeah, he, he throws it from any angle as well. It's heavy, heavy legged. He's got a hard kick. You know, very, very close round. Very it hard is. to score. Yeah, it is so. close. Uh, yeah, I think, I think it's an even round. Happy smiling faces, no doubt, ready to see the but bad it's too boy bad. returns. It's, it's too bad uh, to see the, the the knee kick was uh, was right on the spot, and then Andy uh, acted as if it, if it was too low. That's that's intelligent. That, that's that's called uh, experience, isn't it? Sneaking around the score. Sneaking. I don't know. I don't know of his experience. I mean. I think a referee should see something like that. So it's better, it was better in your day, wasn't it? No, I won't say that, but... <laughs> That's only joking. <laughs> That's only joking. No, 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 but I, but I just think that the referee has to see something like that. You know, or the judges. He has to ask the judges, like, yeah. what happened, you know? I agree. One thing like that can change a fight. I yeah. agree. Then again, exactly. are you going to disagree with the rest of Are you? You can, and uh, <laughs> you get that. <laughs> round you two can. of this three three-minute round action. So are in the black and in the... Red shorts, Raquini, both starting out quick. Yeah, I mean, Sauer coming out very, very quick. He's got a wide stance, though. He's got a wider stance than usual. I think he's trying to hey. let his shots go, harder shots, maybe. Try and hurt Raquini. He needs to let his shots he's going off as he's going in on me as well. Get closer, throw his combinations up and down. Sauer just counters everything, doesn't he? There you go. That's better. Chasing down the devil. Sandy Sauer, a hard leg kick as well to Raquini. He started a little bit uh, more aggressive uh, this yes. round. He has to. He has Wait. to. Raquini, 34 years of age, is in incredible shape. Yeah. Yeah. And he cut in the ring down as well. 
and he's through a couple of low kicks early on this round and they seem to take their toll. I'd like to see him throw him a little bit more. Nice combination from McQueen, those scores. It's where he likes. That's what he, that's what he needs to do, put pressure on McQueen. He throws the combinations of the knees. Uh, he's the one who's, who's putting the pressure in. Uh, Odoro Queen, he makes very nice moves. Stop, stop, stop. The pressure comes from Andy. Yeah, it does, yeah. And he never throws a single shot to see. Exactly. That's the low kick we talked about earlier. So Redden in on the leg of Raquini on the left leg Stop. from the hard low kicks of the man from Majiro Jim. 29 years of age, he's already a legend. Yeah, he's been there from the start, from, from the, from the, you know, he, he started fighting so early. Yeah. I say he has, far, he has fought far more on 29 years. I'm surprised Andy hasn't put combinations together as much as he normally does. Because he normally walks in, throws fast combinations like that. But Raquini is so slippery, isn't he? He is. He moves his head sort of slightly okay. to the right or to the left, missing the first or second shot. Hey. The referee just gives him a little bit of a warning there. Good combination. The left up in the right and the kick to the body, but back comes Raquini in the zone. Chasing him down Stop. now, Sauer really putting the pressure on. Do you think Sauer maybe wants it a bit too much yeah. and he's, he's getting yeah. close? Yeah, this is a yeah. little bit strange. I mean, they both come, they both hold a little bit. And basically, I hate that the rule about the clinching. Stop. I think they should they should allow yeah. clinch for two or three seconds or something and then let go. That's better, from, that's better from Sauer, isn't it? But Raquini is still in this. He is. We've seen his own combinations back. See the red thing on Raquini's leg from those low kicks. Ernesto, score that round for us. I think it was Andy's. I mean, a uh, little bit more aggressive, a uh, little bit more good scores. And, and Raquini, he tried, but he, I think it was just not good enough. See there, Raquini with a lovely combination, cross hook. Thrown it again, but this time, so, well, it's a lovely head kick. He guarded perfectly by Andy Sauer. There's a the combination we talked about. Doesn't let you go though, does he? No. Straight back with, with his own counters. You've got you to also understand that Abraham Raquini is very, very slippery. He's very, very experienced. Slips well on the inside. Throws, goes over to the south bar. But there's some of the guys waiting for. I wonder who they're waiting for. Which heavyweight do you think they're waiting for? Have you got any ideas? <laughs> I wouldn't <Well>, know. <laughs> for me? We're going to waiting for me? I think it should be for you, Ernesto. I don't think so. Well, round three of this three, three-minute round. K1 rising. 2012 oh, here in Madrid. We've seen some right upsets tonight. We've seen some amazing fights. Round two. Maybe some new legends. Round three. Going to round three. Still all to play for. Yep. Yeah, it's still difficult to tell who's going to win this. He's going to watch it with McQueenie. He looks fired up. He throws a head kick from nowhere, doesn't he? If your hands aren't up, it's, you know, he will knock you out. You know, he's so ah. difficult to hit, though, isn't he? And he goes to throw a combination. He slips out of the way and grabs. It's a left high kick from McQueenie. He's dangerous. Good body kick back from Sauer. Good combinations going in and nicely on the inside. And he twists him really well. He's showing strength as well, Raquini. Oh, Raquini has to stop putting some heavier pressure on. Well, Andy looks so so composed, so sharp. And looks like he sees everything what's going on. He's been there and done it, hasn't he, really? He's been there, done that, exactly. And once more. Yeah. Oh, the incredible, incredible he technique. To, he needs to land some more shots on Raquini here. McQueen just sneaking in, scoring good shots. The knees work well from Sauer. The technique of these two guys is you know, absolutely superb. Again, putting pressure on Sauer. Well, I think this round, Sauer is the one who's feeling the most pressure. Oh, yeah. Coming back in the counter, moving forward more. Exactly, but because he's still, he's trying to score, he's coming back. 
Sawa pushing him back. Hey. Uh, Sawa. It's close, this one. It is close. I just think Sawa's just a little bit cleaner. Yeah, exactly. Both hey. complaining about each other all the time. Hard long knee as it sticks out his arm in. Hey. In sportsmanship. Always counts with that left side, doesn't it? With speed. It's difficult, this one. Hey. It really is. Nice kick by Sauer. Andy. It is always Andy who, who starts up and... Hey. It's who catches the judge's eye, really. I yeah. think yeah. good overhand left from Roquini. The problem is, of course, Roquini does a lot on the back hey. foot as well. Yeah. Yeah. When he comes forward, he's impressive, but doesn't do it enough. Nice combination from Sauer. Seems to have the better of that one. We're coming up to the last ten seconds of the third and final round. And you can see why the last the first fight was close between these two. That's a close fight. Well, it must be Andy's. In my opinion, yeah. I'll, I'll give that to Andy, just for the pressure. He just, has, he just had the more telling shots in the end. I think so. I mean, the, the more clean shots and the pressure was more from Andy. And uh, it was it is close, but I think it must be, must be Andy. Well, the expert advice of these two champions in their own right, a former champion. You can just see it, just kick after kick. The technique is incredible, you know, so clean shots. Look at that, body kick, counter with a low kick, and his tower comes back. It was back. tit for tat, though, it in was. a lot of the combinations, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Could there be an extra that. round? Great knee, straight through the middle. Well, maybe he has a little bit of uh, home advantage, I don't know. Uh, uh, in my opinion, it must be Andy, but uh, it's not that that obvious. It's not that so clear it might, cut, is yeah, it? Yeah, it's not that clear, it's true, and uh, so it can it can be an extra round. Well, the crowd here in Madrid obviously enjoying this show, if you're joining us just as much as we have in this wait and anticipation for the judge's decision. Sauer, will he gain revenge over the devil, Abraham Roquini? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner of this contest by a two against one. The winner from the red corner, yeah. Andy, Andy Sauer. He won. Sauer. Great performance by Andy Sauer. A good performance, a great performance by Abraham Raquini. That was one for the purists, wasn't it? Skill level. It was.